I first became interested in science as a little kid. My very first memory of loving science was actually when my parents bought me this slime chemistry set as a really little girl. And I just remember playing with it with my grandpa out at the beach. Um, and I got so inspired by making slime that I was convinced I wanted to become a biochemist. The other thing that really kept my interest as a kid is that my mom is actually a, a theater um, teacher uh, or a theater professor but she works at MIT. So all of her students and colleagues were these um, people who were interested in science. So uh, when I would go on like, take your child to work day as a little kid, I would basically just get shuttled around to different labs. And many of her colleagues and students were my babysitters as a kid. Um, and I just saw these people who were like normal, cool role models who also happen to be really interested in science. I think that um, as we get older, we get more insecure about our identities. And as a kid, you have this boundless curiosity. Asking questions um, is this wonderful way to keep curiosity throughout your life. And I think that if you don't show kids that science is fun and science is accessible to them at an early age, it's very easy for them to completely rule it out later on. So since winning the AAAS Cavley Award in 2016, um, I actually got a job at the Washington Post. Um, and I started a brand new uh, science show called Science Magic Show Hooray. It's a science variety show that explores nature and technology and the history of science. Story ideas for Science Magic Show Hooray come from a lot of different places. Sometimes we actually get um, the uh, sometimes we actually get audience members to send in video requests, or I get a request on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook or even in the YouTube comments. Other times, um, I'll be reading scientific papers and I'll see some new research, and that sets me off down a path of learning about you know a new area of science that I hadn't thought about before. And sometimes it's just um, as simple as me feeling, say, really sweaty one day and wondering about the science of sweat. <laughs> In terms of actually doing the research, um, I feel like I pretty much read the entire internet <laughs> and then call scientists who are subject matter experts. Um, and have conversations with them on the phone about what they do, make sure I understand the material well, um, go back and forth with them um, to fact check the piece. I also really want this show to feel like a variety show, so I want there to be different kind of visual styles in each episode. So it's great to work with other people. And then I go out with some of our videographers and maybe I film, I film an interview with um, a scientist, maybe we film on my set, um, and finally, at the end of the process, I edit it all together. I feel very lucky um, to have a lot of kids and parents watch the show together. Um, so it's pretty wonderful to get feedback from them about them being inspired by my videos. I've gotten postcards in the mail here at the post from people who like my videos and it, like it makes me cry every like every time somebody says something nice about it. It makes me so happy um, because I feel like my videos can be this way for parents to be ambassadors of science for their children. If they're watching my videos together, the parents get to introduce my video as sort of like this like stepping stone to get their kids interested in science. And then they can go off with their kids and explore science on their own too. And I, that's like the most meaningful thing to me. I feel like there's something about my kind of tone and the way I approach storytelling that appeals to kids and appeals to maybe a family viewing experience. I love making content for adults too, but I can't really imagine a future where I'm not making any content for children. I love it so much. I think it's really important to show kids that, that you can be a woman in science and um, also be fun and playful and you don't just need to look 
a way that like, you know, you see on TV or in the movies. 